Hello friends, welcome back to my tutorial. We are continuous create our first game in Unreal Engine number 4. We are doing 2D platformer. So what we have in present moment? Uh, just play and check. We have loading screen, we have some uh, already game widget with life, with stamina, with uh, score some points we have some exit button we have some main character and if we are start to jump uh, i have some spawning of the land and of some drums as you can see i can over jump it and it's already some gameplay also uh, it's coming calculation how many i over the over jump if i touch a drums my life going out and uh, looks like looks like game is coming so uh, if I push this button, I have menu quiet game. No, yes, nothing working. So uh, if you are, don't know how to create everything what we are what I'm showing you now, just check all my previous tutorial. Today we are continuous make our game. So what is the idea today? First of all, I will put some uh, options for this button. No and yes will have some buttons. So if I push a no, I will come back to my game and continues playing. If I push a yes, I am going out. So we are start from easy way. Uh, we are going for quiet game menu. We have this button. Yes, as you can see, we are going down from right side and on click it. Just make like this and we have this click it button. What we are doing, we are make like this and make quiet game, something like that. So that's all. Compile, play, and check what is going on. Uh, I push this button, coming no, still not working, but if I push yes, I quite the game. Looks like very nice. So now we are create some options for my no button. I like to come back to the game. So what we will do? Uh, we are going down. And on click it, we are doing next option. So first of all, we have to understood what is going on. Again, I am going to the game. What is going on? In present moment, I have this widget and I have this game. When I push this button, what is going on? My game going to pause. This widget going out from parent game widget. And I have new widget quite the game. So I have to make something like opposite. Okay, when I click this button, what I will do? First of all, I going to again create widget, yeah? Again create widget. It will be like a game interface. After this, I put this game interface to viewport. Viewport, add to viewport, something like that. What next? When this widget will be in viewport, I will pause, pause game, set pause the game, will be disabled. So, no any pause for the game. And after that, I remove, remove it from parent, something like that. Remove from parent. This widget, yeah? Widget with quite the game. Hope, hope you understood. Okay, so if I push yes with question quite the game, I am going quite the game. If I push no, uh, I will create new widget. I, I mean not new widget, I going back to game interface widget. Add this widget to viewport, then un unpause it game, not unpause it game, and then I remove this widget back. So we are check and look how it's going on. Okay, we are playing. So coming some gameplay, we are jumping, everything okay. We are going to this button, push. I have this widget, quite the game. If yes, going out, if no, nothing happened. No, nothing happened, only unpause game and I cannot see nothing. So now we will try to check where is the problem. Now we'll try to check where is the problem. Uh, yeah, problem is here. Uh, you see, I put a target, remove from appearance to this new interface game. So for this reason, I have to take it and delete. I no need any connection, delete. So remove from a parent target self. 
it means I remove quite game menu. Check and play again. Can be some mistake, it's possible. So, no, and I am back in the game. Look at this, we, are, we will try again. Uh, I'm playing, I push this button, stop, and I have quite the game, no. And I continue playing and continue jumping. Push, you see, game on the pause, my bull somewhere in the sky, quite the game, no. And I continue playing, I continue to take some points. You see, yes, so it's working. Uh, what we will do now? Now we will try to make some nice animation. Uh, how we will do it? Okay, now I show you how to make some very interesting animation. We are going to quite the game and going to design. As you can see, I have like this. It's coming directly. So how to create any animation? So first of all, I like to receive this quiet game somewhere from top, no and yes from the sides, and this blur I have to receive slowly. Not directly 10, but slowly. So for this reason, we are going to animation. We are push this button, and we are create new animation. Animation win will be in anim. It's just a name. It's mean inside animation, something like that. So really, it's, it's not, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, here we have some animation menu. So, I show you very simple creating animation. You can check any other tutorials in YouTube or somewhere else to make a more interesting animation, but I show you some process how to do it. So, first of all, uh, we have to set up time for animation. As you can see, from this red up to red, I have animation during five seconds. It's really very long for me and for my game, so I like to make animation not more than one second. I'm going here and put exactly one second. What I am doing now? I am going and select blur. In present moment, my blur will be zero. Like this, no any blur. Then I push, select blur, and push this small button. It's almost like in Adobe After Effects, almost similar, yes? push this button and as you can see inside in the blur strange it's like here I have some key point after that I am going to one second change this for 10 and again add game frame so look at this this is my animation from zero slowly coming blur as you can see looks like very very nice now we will try to add animation for quiet game. Same inside will be here. So it is animation and inside this animation can, can be many different tracks. Tracks for blur, tracks, tracks for image, for any text, doesn't matter. But if I will create a new animation, I have to create other tracks for other animation. Later I will show you what is mean and how it work. Okay, what we will do now, we are going to this image, going somewhere here, and this will be, just give me to remember, position Y, yeah, like this. On one second, it will be somewhere here, but when I am going here, on zero second, I just little bit pick up on top, something like that. Same situation I will do for my bottom. So, going for one second, no and yes, I take no, it will be position X, I'm going to yes, it will be position X. Then I'm going to, yeah, I know need already image, I'm going somewhere here, and just change position for X, somewhere here, yes, then going for no, change position somewhere here. What's the problem? Yeah, okay, now it's okay. And make a frame. So what we get? Uh, in present moment, I have nothing in this screen. It is zero second, but if I am going to second one, I get like this animation. You see, it looks like very, very nice. So how we can play this animation? First of all, compile. After that, going to graph. And inside in the graph, we have very nice options, event preconstruct 
event construct and event tick. Uh, usually I use event construct. It's mean all time when I will call this widget, when this widget will coming to viewport, start works this event construct. It's almost same like begin uh, event begin play for any uh, actors, for any blueprints. For widget is event construct. It means when I call event construct, I am call some animation. Animation. So play animation. And here I have to put some animation. As you can see inside variables, I have animation and my animation in Amin, which I created. I have to put somewhere here. Okay, very good. So it's mean when this widget just created, I will get some animation. Uh, we will check and we will try to see if it's working or not. So come in game, I start to play, everything okay. And as you remember, if I push this button, I will call that widget. So push and check. Yeah. Looks like very nice. You see, looks like very nice. Okay. Quiet game. No. Again, push and coming animation. Slowly coming blur and coming my text. And it already looks like very interesting. So what we will do now? Now we will, uh, yeah, you see play mode. It's forward. It's mean from zero to one. What we will do now? If I push no, if I like to go back to the game, what I am doing? I play animation again, play animation again, which animation, this animation, but now I will put not play mode forward, I play, um, put reverse, it means this animation will be from one to zero, it, it looks like like this, so if I put reverse, my animation coming something like that, uh, okay, we will check and we will see what is going on. We are start play, we are jumping. Uh, now I will some make some debugging for this jump because I don't like it. Okay, play like this, animation coming. Quite the game, no, and nothing happened. Why nothing happened? Uh, now I try to explain you. Nothing happened because I like to play animation. I create new widget, add to viewport, set game on pause, and directly remove parent without any, how it's calling, without any uh, delay. So before game unpause it and remove this uh, widget from parent, I have to put some delay. And how many seconds my animation? One second. It means my duration should be one second. It will be enough to create uh, to play this animation. Will be enough to prepare yourself for play. And uh, after one second, my game will be unpaused and this widget going out. So check and play how it's working. Okay, we are make this, you see slowly coming out, no, going up and start to play. But what I don't like now, I don't like that this my game widget coming very fast and directly, you see now it's going out and now it's very going fast. I like also create some animation for that one. And what we will do, we are going for my game interface you see, this is my game interface and I'm going to this canvas panel. Uh, not sp uh, specify for everything, for canvas panel. I create new animation. Uh, we are calling it like a out animation, out animation. Uh, what I will do, select this out animation, select canvas panel. Yeah, don't forget to put one second. Like I told you, all my animation will be only one second. Yeah, uh, we are create some track for this canvas panel or we can push here or we can go in directly here. You see, I have render opacity. In present moment, my render opacity is one. But if I am going like this, I have a zero. You see, looks like very nice. So select put game frame and it's coming automatically. After that, going to one second, make this opacity to zero and play again. So you see this animation looks like very nice. Okay, what we will do, we are going to event graph and also here 
event construct. When I have event construct, I will play some animation. Play animation. I play animation where is inside this animation, animation out. Yeah, but now I play this animation not to forward, I play to reverse. It coming from zero to one. My opacity is this, I also no need. So save and play. You see, look at this. Yeah, you see how it's slowly coming. If I push like this, no, and again slowly coming and it looks like very nice. Again, uh, and here, yes, if I click, uh, click to exit button, you remember this cross, yes, I like also play some animation. I'm going here and animation, play animation, and it will be same animation out, but now it will be not reverse, it will be forward, something like that, and I remove it, so... Mm -hmm. Give me to sync. Yeah, game pause it will be a little bit before. Game pause it will be exactly when I push this button without any one milliseconds delay. Will be like that. Yeah. Uh, and after this animation, before I move from, from a parent, I will make like a delay. Also, will be delay one second. Something like that. So we will check, save, and check what we have. Look at this. Now I have animation for two widgets. This widget, if I push, is slowly going out and I have new one. I cannot push nothing except these two buttons. Yeah, very good. If I push no, I again have this widget and I can again make like this. And you see, this animation looks like very, very, very nice. So, if I am not satisfied with something, I can uh, some change. So, for example, I like to make also opacity for this text. To receive this text uh, slowly coming in. What I will do, I am going to quite render, uh, quite game. I am going to design, select this anim in and try to find this uh, image, this image. Yes, as you can see. So I am going here and image. As you can see somewhere, somewhere here should be alpha, yeah. Yeah, very good. Somewhere here, alpha. So I push zero and K frame. If I open MH, I have now for moving. I open like this. Yes, for moving. And now for color opacity, it's coming automatically. When I'm going to one second, this alpha channel will be one. Again, like this. So what I get, uh, play and check now. Now, when my quiet game, this question coming down, is coming like this, you see, and coming like this, and it already looks like very nice. Okay, we are save this uh, for a moment. We are check what we have. Yeah, I promised you to fix a bug with my jumping. Again, we will check uh, what we have. We are play, and look how my bullet jump. If I play like this, it looks like very nice. But if I push very fast this button, I have like this very strange jumping and really I don't like it. So how to fix it? We are going to blueprints and we are open my pawn. Inside my pawn, we will try to find jump action. We are going here and we will check. When I press, I have some jump. When I release this button, it's coming to reverse. So we will try to make some I don't know, we will try to make some delay and we will see what is going on. Delay. This delay will be for how many seconds now? We will see, I put somewhere here. This delay will be 0 0.4 seconds. Why like this? Because my timeline, as you remember, is for five, uh, 0 0.5 seconds. So my delay will be a little bit less and in this reason I give a possibility to my bull to finish his jump on top. So play and check now what I get. Check. Okay, if I push many times, you see what is going on. It's not jumping. But anyway, I don't like it. When I, I release it, I don't like it. So I like that my release will work only 
when this animation will finish. So for this reason, I am add one more options. Uh, name of these options we already use do once. It means my release will work only one time. Okay, check again. And look what I have. I play and release it. Play and it's already not released. Not released because my release working only one time. So here I have a reset. And question is when I can reset it. We are going somewhere here and in timeline jump you have this finish it. So we take this finish and we are connected for reset. It means when my jump will finish it, come in reset do once and I again can reset only one time. I hope you understood what is going on. So now we are make it a little bit beautiful. Something like that. I don't know, we will try. We will try to make it beautiful. I am not sure it, if I will be able, but we will try. Take it, put somewhere here. Very nice and somewhere here. Okay, so very nice. Uh, check what I get. Okay, jump, release, jump, release, jump. I can make like this. If I don't like, I am going and releasing and now my jump working perfectly. If somebody have a nervous and push it many, many times, I cannot jump. I just fly, just fly. So very good. It's working perfectly uh, for a moment. This tutorial finish. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put like it will be very, very good for me. And if you are, don't check my previous tutorial, please do it. Goodbye, friends, and see you next time.